Hi, this is Kevin with Muse Research, and in this video I'll be covering how to use the Native Instruments Service Center in online mode. Before we start the Service Center, it's best to check if we have the kind of connection that will allow Service Center to go online. Remember that Service Center can only go online if your receptor is connected directly to the internet through a network. This means it has to be in automatic mode. Crossover mode will not allow it to connect to the internet. To check this, click on Setup at the top of the screen, and then select Network. You'll notice mine is in automatic mode, which is good, and I also have a valid IP address down here. When looking at the IP address, you want to be sure it does not start with 169 as the first set of digits, and also that it does not end in 254.253. If you see any, any one of these, it's a sign that your network is not set up correctly and Service Center will not work. To launch the Service Center, just load any Native Instruments plugin. Click on the interface and you'll be prompted by this screen. Click on Activate to launch the Service Center. If your Native Instruments plugins are already registered, you can still get to the Service Center by loading Reactor 5. Just click to go into the user interface, then find this drop down menu at the top of the screen, go to help, and launch Service Center. Once the Service Center has been launched, it'll check for a valid internet connection, and if it finds one, it'll ask you to log in. Enter your Native Instruments username, which is usually an email address, and password. If you don't have one yet, you can always create a new account by clicking the link down here. Once you log in, you'll be presented with a list of software that needs to be authorized. Proceed to enter the serial number. Once it's been entered, this Activate button should highlight. Just hit it to complete the activation process.